I want to talk to you a little bit about what the future holds for you and the internet. First of all, we're entering into a period where all kinds of appliances are part of the internet environment, whether it's a printer, a household appliance, something in the office, something in the car, maybe something you carry around with you, or even something you wear. This may turn out to be very important for some of the products and services that you'll be inventing in the future. They become part of the network environment. They become part of our communications environment. And that makes them even more useful. In some cases, we'll be wearing sensors. In some cases, appliances will be telling us or third parties that are helping us keep track of what's going on. Maybe it's the temperature in the house. Maybe it has to do with the safety and security of your home. Maybe it has to do with the state of the manufacturing line in which uh, many devices are being used to produce a product. This sort of internet of things is becoming very, very clear uh, on the horizon. Another thing that's going to happen is that the internet services are going to become available to literally everyone all around the globe. There are 7 billion people on the planet, 3 billion of whom are already using the internet. The remaining 4 billion will be online surely before the end of this decade and many of them getting access through mobile technology. We're going to discover that the internet is part of our infrastructure in the same way, the way that electricity is part of the infrastructure. People will expect it to be there at all times. Moreover, it's getting more and more intelligent. There are devices that are being programmed today, one of them called Google Glass, that can hear what you say, can hear what you hear, can see what you see, and becomes a part of your environment. The computer becomes your partner. I want you to imagine for a moment what it might be like if your customers have access to this kind of computing capability and information at a moment's notice, anytime they want it, simply by speaking, or maybe even by looking at, let's say, a label on a bottle of wine and asking questions like, where does this come from? What are the tasting notes? Where can I get this? That kind of information is available wearing the Google Glass product because it can see what you're seeing, it can tell that you're pointing at a label, and it can come back and say, oh, I know where this is made. It's made in Umbria. It comes from the Lugarotti family, and some of the best wines in the district come from there. So this kind of assistance to people anywhere in the world can make your products and services far more visible and far more accessible and far more discoverable. Google hopes that you'll take advantage of all of these capabilities we hope that you'll create websites and applications for mobiles and for desktops and laptops and tablets that will become part of your marketing plan and part of your ability to distribute your products. So I thank you very much for your time. I hope you'll find the rest of these lessons useful and I hope you'll apply them and improve the GDP and your own personal income as a consequence. Ciao.